Welcome, and welcome back to all that the wind has brought here, to another episode of Roots of Pacha, where we're getting very close to being up- able to upgrade our house. We are almost done flooring our little forest. We did actually make it to the cave painting festival, and we prayed to Pacha in the hopes that she would bless us with a sighting of the mythical cookies and cream ibex. Yeah, I know, it's not even a rare color. I'm aware of that, but we're struggling. So hopefully Pacha can help us out with that. Go ahead, we'll get some meat cooking. Then we'll get into here. We'll take the meat and put it down. We'll grab some of this quinoa and some juice. Put this meat down as well. So, quinoa first. Ferment. And then on to juice. And more juice. All the juice. Hopefully this ends up going by fairly quickly. Now it's only a Tuesday, so I think that does mean that we now have, yeah, because yesterday was a festival day. Um, So we have Zita's birthday, and hopefully we'll be able to meet up with her today. Um, And we have gifts to give to everyone. So we're gonna try and make that happen as well. Uh, In fact, let's grab our two juice. And I needed to make that mead. That's okay. Um, we are going to grab eight, nine, ten. That should work. All right. And almost done on the vinegar front. Fantastic. Uh, nothing to put away here. That's fine. I'm just dumb. Things that we can craft. Now we have 10 and they're all better quality or good quality. So let's grab good quality potatoes. And throw them all in. Because why not? And done. Back in go the potatoes. Let's go check on all of the animals and whistle to them all. And you know what? I want to keep upping the affection on these two for right now. Especially because she's not even breedable yet, and uh, it'll also up the quality of her milk. It seems. Everyone else will just do the whistling for. Not a big deal. Everybody's staying fairly healthy, so that's exciting news. It does seem that as long as the fodder is kept up, they seem to stay pretty healthy, which is exciting. Grab out the sickle. Gonna run over to the house and drop off all the things there and process all the things that need processing in there. So we have two eggs that need to go in the cupboard. We do have two milk here, but I don't think they're matching milk. So let's plop those back in. And you know what, for right now, we are going to do best quality milk because we have some. I do also need to bring a wine down here and age it with a hardwood. That does remind me that I need to do that. Um, That's all fine and good. We'll say hi to Lily and Shadow. 
and process up our wood, our wool. And that's all done now, so now we grab the milk. We're gonna throw that in the cheese maker. <laughs> it would be good to have a few more cheese makers somewhere. I'm debating whether or not, or where we're gonna go ahead and put that. Uh, let's just take Not Sage for a ride here. And come on through. It looks like we do have some things to harvest here. But just this one crop. So that shouldn't take me very long. Bear with me and I'll get right to it. Alright, we have reached rank 5 in Garbanzo. So that's rather fantastic. Um, I do think those are legumes that we're now currently processing. But for right now, we're going to shove them. Why? Uh, well, frankly, because I can't be bothered to deal with them. Then we'll go ahead and grab Not Sage. We'll come on down here and throw in our pickles, our cooked meat, our wools. I want to give a jungle fowl feather to uh, Mana and just see. And then we have the juice, of course. Cheese we're going to process. So that handles Frere. We do need Acre, Atta, Atta. Bra. Bra. I suppose we could work on Kroll here soon. Um, Ivan could actually be a problem. I haven't seen any Detora flowers around, actually. Or I'm just dumb. No, that's not a Detora flower that's harvestable. I just haven't seen it. I've seen lots of oregano. I'm not seeing the detour flowers that we were seeing last year, interestingly enough. Um, I wonder if it's just a chance whether they're detoura or oregano. And perhaps we should be gathering more oregano. But we'll see. Change in weather is kind of nice. We could trade for fermented cutlass. And you see, that's not terrible. Uh, also, Jasper. You know, we've got some cash. We've got some pickles. Let's grab out some pickles. And, and let's see. If we trade you for all of the Jasper, right? And all of the fermented cutlass... How many uh, take a rock? I don't know. Um, take a couple of rocks. Ah! Uh, there we go. So ten rocks. Yeah, that's that's great. All right, then we can start upgrading a Jasper trinket. And I'll give this to you. <clears throat> and you'll think about it. I love it, how did you know? Hello and now I've both lost our parents, but she's lucky. I wish I had even a single memory of mine. That's really sad. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. That's just really sad. Um, let's put the rest of these pickles away so we don't need them now. I think Mana might be up here. She is. I know Rain is good and all, but it makes the day so boring. Do you like jungle fowl feathers? This will be useful little plan. Not really, and I totally forgot to dance with Fair. We'll have to do that tomorrow. When we give him his other juice. Huak. Here's the gold impression brooch. Wear it often to unlock all of its power. Okay. So taking a look at this one. Now that it is fully bonded, it is eight gift giving and 8 torch radius. This is 10 gift giving. 
So this is going to be stronger if we can upgrade it. I dreamt some glowing creatures were talking to you. That happens on a regular basis, so that's fine. Oh, but it looks like I can't upgrade that one. Okay, okay. Well, that is most unfortunate. So we'll have to deal with that as time goes by. Um, the cave lioness ring will be Jasper. Okay, and that's the endurance one. So will the silver earring of the woods will also be Jasper. So we are going to need to get you know, more of these things. Oh, and the tasting element. And armlet. Blah. I can say that. Armlet is also Jasper. So we are going to have to get some of this stuff. We also will need Agate, Amethyst, Sapphire, and Peridot to get a couple more accessories started in the first place. So we may actually have some of these things. Like the bones and, or the sapphire at least. Maybe not the bones, but the sapphire. The amethyst and the peridot. We may already have. We just need to actually bother with it. Um, for now though, let us see if we can't grab at least the copper that we need, which actually is in the same chest as all the gemstones the copper that we need for right now and just see where we can go from there yeah see so I do have a little bit of Jasper I do have the amethyst and I think that was amethyst and fiber so we can at least get started on that we'll grab that we'll grab that just in case we have any of those things actually the sapphire needed bones which we don't have so we'll put that away for right now and then, oh, and I totally forgot the only two copper that we need right now because we'll give Otta the strawberries that we have produced. So, I think we can only do one of these at a time though, but that's okay. Hello, Vuok. Let's try this again. Uh, I don't have the Peridot, but I do have the Amethyst, and I don't have the Nacre or whatever it is, so that one's fine. So, start work on that. That'll at least get us something there. And of course, once we have gone through and floored our whole forest, we'll be able to start doing some mining again for gemstones. Hi, Atta! Hey, how about you come here, child, and have this strawberry? All right. And you know what? We'll just talk to you just because. Rain is the best. That's not incredibly useful. Bala has some intriguing ideas. I should chat with her more. It's a great day to hang out with friends. Okay. Not a ton of information gathered there for other people's possible likes and dislikes. Uh, but I'm thinking that Kroll and Acre may be in their house. It looks like somebody's in Reese's house, and that's going to be Kroll. Acre may be in her house. We'll have to check, but that's fine. Um, he will want the fermented fish, which is also fine. Hi, have one of these. You shouldn't have. This is too good. <laughs> Tari told me I should talk to my kids more. About what? That they need to do their chores? Um, or just to be a decent human. He does not like to dance at all, I don't think. So he should be high enough hearts to dance with me by now. Alright, Acre is at full hearts. With this weather, you'll have, work will have to wait until tomorrow. I mean, that's fair. But I wish you would have a discussion with me about maybe other things that your children like. 
or anything really would be great. We can keep hoping. We can always hope. Okay. So, things that need to happen now. We need to go and look for Ibex. And Zeta, of course. Who should be out there by the Ibex. Uh, and then we'll go and floor the forest down some more. And from that point, we should be getting pretty close to finishing off flooring the forest. <sighs> no new Ibex. Okay. Our Ibex are out here, though. My sibling... I was my sibling's protector for so long. But I think I need them more than they need me now. That is fair. Here, have this. Impressive! You knew exactly what to get me for my birthday. Well, that's, um, that's Zeta done, guys. Do you have any insight on Vala? Someone back to home told me to work harder, not smarter. Or I think that's what he said. I wasn't listening. Okay. So Zeta is now up to perfect affection. So is Ata. We're still working on Croc. Um... And I need to put some more thought into possibly dealing with Vada, or Vala and Bra. Bra? Brub. I know who I'm thinking about, just not saying their names properly. It's fine. It's all good. There was no new Ibex. Look at this forest. Oh, this is incredible. Okay. So, let's get started by just clearing out some of the things we didn't get clear before. And honestly, this is almost done. Like, this is almost completely finished, which is fantastic. We are going to floor out this entire section. Even where we don't have trees, we're going to floor it and then possibly decorate it later. But we're going to floor it for sure. Because I want it completely clear and usable in this whole area. That is not a real rock. Interesting. That's a real rock. Oh yeah, that one spot where I randomly threw some flooring while we were running around. Um, so I was just trying to get it done. Okay, that's also not a real rock. We'll get some good work done in here. And it'll all be great and wonderful and just fine. And hopefully, we'll be able to basically just run through here on not sage. And if anything is ready to be grown, we'll be able to see it from the edge for the most part. And then we'll just be able to carry it on with normal things other than that. Oh, I need a floor. Okay. This is fine. It's not a big deal. We'll get it all handled. I'd like to be able to finish this today. I don't know that that's happening, but we're just gonna get some good space cleared up here. And we're just gonna try and get close. Honestly, we're just gonna try to get close. If it gets finished, it gets finished. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But we're gonna get close. I promise you that. And to do so, we're gonna start with like 115 of these, to be honest. And then we'll come back to it. but there's so much here that is almost done and dealt with. Uh, that can't go there, okay.
We are so close to finishing this all off, you guys, and it's so great to see, and I really just want it done. At this point, I really, really, really just want it all done. But the more of this we can get just filled in for right now, the less will regrow over time. And that's also vitally important to us to not keep having to re-clear it all. And not Sage is over there questioning why we're in the rain still. I can't backtrack through there, that's fine. Because, quite frankly, we still have more flooring to place in this section here. Hi, Zeppelin. He would all like you he would like you all to know that while we enjoy Roots of Pacha, uh, my recording of the game is not his favorite thing. I know I'm scaling this down a little as we go, but I don't want to end up crafting way too many because quite frankly, I don't like these floors. They'll be fine in a forested area. Especially considering that means they'll be mostly hidden by the trees once the trees grow. Um, but personally, I'm not entirely fond of these floors. Okay, so let's do this now by little section. That's a hoe. That's a torch. Okay. Let's get this done little sections at a time. That we know we can get finished before we pass out. And then we'll go from there. Yeah, this is turning out quite well. I uh, can put one there. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Nothing down here, though, unfortunately. But that's okay. Now it's just a few little sections that we haven't gotten taken care of yet. And we should be able to finish that off tomorrow. Nicely and easily. We'll go ahead and pass out in the field tonight. We'll make it up to 455,000 clan prosperity, to which we contributed to our 2164. Oh, the pickle dreams are real. Okay, we'll go ahead and give that a save. That'll bring us up to 9,054. Which means we will awaken to Boar's birthday. He wants poop. That's easy. As well as the last day of flooring the forest. Which means that tomorrow we should be able to gather material. Excuse that. I'm sorry. Should be able to gather materials for upgrading our house to the final level and buy the last few cooking ingredients, which is absolutely fantastic. And we have finished off Acri and Atta and Zeta, which is awesome. We're almost done dealing with Frere. We've, we're almost done dealing with Ada. We've started on Kroll now. Next will be Dari, Era, Grub, and Vala. Hopefully. 
I gotta think on Vala. I don't know what we're gonna give Vala. I don't know what we're gonna give Grub. She hasn't liked anything yet. Grub likes pink shells, so if we can gather up some pink shells, we should be able to befriend him. Maybe not perfectly, but at least he likes them. But I'll put some more th forethought into his gifts as well. But yeah. We should be able to start working through other characters as we go. We're getting somewhere now, though. We really are getting somewhere. So I'm very excited for how this is all going to go. And unfortunately, we still have not found the cookies and cream ibex. But hopefully soon that will occur. Alright. But that all has to wait. For with the saving of the game and the ending of the day, we have come to the end of the episode. If you guys like what you see, please feel free to th hit that thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. But until next time, may the wind bring you on another journey. And have a good night.